Welcome back to the Anatomy Lab. Have you ever leaned forward to stretch your hamstrings and felt your muscles suddenly tighten? That's your body's stretch reflex kicking in. This natural response is your body's way of preventing overstretching and protecting you from injury. In this video, we'll explain why this reflex exists, how it works, and share practical tips to improve your flexibility and avoid injury. So why does the stretch reflex even exist? The stretch reflex is a built-in safety mechanism that prevents muscles from being stretched too far or too fast. It protects your muscles and tendons from tears or damage, especially during sudden or uncontrolled movements. Imagine slipping on ice or stepping off a curb you didn't notice. In those moments, your muscles could stretch beyond their safe range. That's when the stretch reflex activates to tighten the muscle and protect it from harm. It's an essential system for maintaining stability and control while keeping your body safe during a high-stress situation. Well, here's how it works. Inside your muscles are tiny sensors called muscle spindles. These spindles are constantly monitoring two things, how long the muscle is and how fast it's being stretched. If the stretch happens too quickly or goes too far, the spindles send an urgent signal to your spinal cord. This bypasses the brain entirely to ensure the response is fast. The spinal cord then tells the muscle to contract, resisting further movement and preventing overstretching. So here's an interesting thing about this reflex that you should know. This reflex is more sensitive in cold muscles because they are stiffer and less elastic. That's why warming up is crucial. It increases muscle flexibility and reduces the likelihood of triggering the reflex unnecessarily. Now you may ask yourself, well, what does the stretch reflex feel like? It feels like a sudden tightening or resistance in the muscle being stretched. It's often centered in the muscle belly, that's the thicker fleshy part of the muscle. For example, during a hamstring stretch, you might feel it as a strong pull or tension in the back of your thigh that seems to push back against the movement. This sensation comes on quickly and can feel like your body is setting a hard limit and stops you from going any further. But while the stretch reflex sets those limits, your body has another system that helps you go deeper into stretches safely, the Golgi tendon organs. These sensors are found in your tendons and work differently from the stretch reflex. Instead of detecting how far you're stretching, they sense tension in the muscle. During slow, steady stretches, the Golgi tendon organs send signals to your muscles to relax and lengthen. This is why holding a stretch for 20 to 30 seconds often allows you to go deeper. Over time, this mechanism helps you improve your flexibility and makes stretching more effective. By understanding how the stretch reflex and the Golgi tendon organs work together, you can make your stretching routine more effective and safe. Let's look at a few strategies to help you stretch more efficiently and avoid triggering the stretch reflex at the same time. First of all, warm up. Use dynamic movements like leg swings or arm circles to make your muscles more elastic and ready for stretching. Second, move gradually. Ease into stretches slowly and avoid any sudden jerky motions. Third, hold your stretch. Stay in the position for 20 to 30 seconds to give your muscles time to adjust. You can also try P and F stretching, which in a simplified version is contract the muscles briefly and then relax and stretch further. And as a last point, I want to mention the focus on breathing. Deep, steady breaths reduce tension and help your muscles to relax as well. If you realize that you have triggered the stretch reflex, don't worry, it's usually temporary and will subside on its own within a few seconds or a minute as your muscles adapt. Pausing and allowing your body to relax can help this process. In cases where tightness persists or becomes a recurring issue, treatments like massage therapy, myofascial release or neuromuscular therapy may help you. These methods can reduce muscle sensitivity, improve the quality of your tissue and support long-term flexibility. Consulting a professional can provide you tailored solutions to help you move more freely and comfortably. 
I think that's everything I have on this topic for you for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe or share it with a friend who might benefit from it. I'd also love to hear from you if you have ever noticed your stretch reflex kicking in during a workout or while stretching. Share your experience in the comments below and I'll be sure to read them. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.